Our next show has drawn a lot of attention to itself for supposedly reflecting the feelings of people in their 30s. It's a drama called 30 Dumb Thing, and it concerns a small group of friends who've known each other since their college days. Each show is loaded with adult problems, but their specialty seems to be taking any situation as an opportunity to examine their feelings, and in general, taking life way too seriously. They also seem to have this rule, the scene ain't over until somebody cries. Heather, have you seen my baseball glove? Have you really looked? What is that supposed to mean? Sometimes things are there right in front of you and you just don't see them. Are you talking about the fact that I'm about to lose my job and I'm ignoring it? And that we had to borrow money from my little brother to fix the roof? And that your best friend is divorcing my college roommate's cousin? No! 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 And I'm also not talking about giving up my career to raise a child. Or that our pasta maker is broken. Or that the alarm on my biological clock is ringing like the Liberty Bell. In fact, I'm, I'm not talking about anything at all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I guess it's just that... Once when I was a kid, I wanted a chemistry set, but my parents said it was too expensive. So I delivered newspapers so I could get the money, and I marched right down to the store, and when I got there, they were all out of chemistry sets. So what did you do? I bought a model of the Munsters car instead. Oh, I love you. I love you, too. Oh, ow, ow. my ear. Oh, oh, out. Oh, my earring. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, eventually they find the glove. But before the day is over, Ben loses his job, gets injured playing softball, is embarrassed by a neighbor, and has a dream sequence about his old girlfriend. To top it off, he has a fight with his best friend. Did you prime that first? I don't want to talk about it. You got to prime it first or you'll end up doing six coats later. I don't want to talk about it. The primer seals the wood. Evan, stop it, please! As a kid, I had a pet hamster, and I wanted to bring it to school for show and tell, but my parents wouldn't let me. And I brought it anyway, and I put it in my coat pocket, and it died. Ben, I'm so sorry. I... No, I'm sorry. But I'm truly sorry. I'm much more sorry than you are. Okay, you're sorry. Thanks, friend. <laughs> what a bunch of crybabies. You know, a lot of the other critics have praised this show for supposedly being realistic. But I don't know anybody that's anything like any of the people on 30 Dumb Thing, except those people that went to a lot of self-awareness training seminars in the 70s. Well, you know, it's funny. I had a model of the Munsters car when I was a kid, and I also had a hamster. So this show kind of hits home with me a little closer, probably, than it does you. Anyway, I'm going to watch this show again. You didn't go to a lot of self-awareness training seminars in the 70s, did you? Well, what do you consider a lot? <laughs>